Hello, I'm Dave Heidemann and thanks for tuning in. In this set of tutorials, I'm going to talk about strobes and underwater photography. Underwater photography is a blast. There is nothing more fun, in my opinion, than going underwater, seeing a different environment, the vast diversity of life, capturing an image that shows the beauty and biologic diversity of the underwater world, taking it topside and showing it to your family and friends. Uh, however, there's problems. One of the things with underwater photography is the water column. That water column robs us of color, contrast, and clarity. So, what can we do to solve this? One, we can stay very shallow and get very close to our subject and shoot with a wide angle lens. Okay, or we can use a strobe. A strobe brings back color, contrast, and clarity, and brings back and restores the beauty and mystery of the underwater world. Let me show you a few examples. So here is an example of a beautiful reef scene underwater at about 30, 40 feet depth. The water column robs us of the color and contrast. Where's all the beauty? We bring a strobe underwater, and bam, we get all that wonderful contrast and beauty restored. Strobes are just great. It can restore the color red. The color red is usually lost by 10 or 12 feet. At about 80 feet depth, everything's just a dull uh, blue. Here's my dive buddy next to a beautiful orange sponge. And uh, look at, at about 20 uh, feet depth, how that strobe re restores vibrant color. Uh, you can get close and take macro shots of portraits, like in this fish here. Uh, here, I'm real close to the fish, but at about 50 feet depth, the color's washed out. However, I add a strobe to the picture, and look at that beauty and the color and contrast and clarity. Uh, the strobes can also uh, uh, let us do super macro shots and bring back color and clarity and the color red to this eye of the squirrel fish. And it can stop the action. You can see this parrotfish frozen in mid-bite there. Uh, and, of course, at night when we have no light, strobes are absolutely essential. Okay, thanks for tuning in. Uh, for the next tutorial, we're going to talk about common problems with strobes and how to solve them. Thank you.